Look at that little guy. Look how cute he is. Let me see if I can catch him. Let me see. Come on, buddy. Oh, gosh. Speedy. <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez. Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. We're heading over here. Uh, boy, this, this tree is really going nuts. Um, and uh, move some babies. The guys checked these fish two or three weeks ago and they stayed in the warehouse for a little bit. And then they came out here and they threw them all into two tanks and I swear, there they are, there's those grackles. I hate them. <laughs> Anyway, they threw them in a couple of tanks out here, but I swear there's 500 in each tank, so they can't stay out here like that. Um, so we're gonna move them. We did a moving video before where we moved fish to some white tubs, and they've grown up. We've sold probably 75% of them. And now we're gonna fill up another tub. The tub we're filling up had same type of pseudos in it. And pseudos, people call them pseudos, embunas, rock dwellers type fish. Um, I don't know what's in here, I'm about to find out. It looks like some kind of albino. There's the albino. Either a rot, maybe a rot. This is not wide enough to be soft. It's not, yeah, it's the blue. I don't know. It's not the masonry because they wouldn't make No, Kenny I maybe. Yeah, Kenny I probably. And, and there's. Maybe cobalt. I don't know. Or maybe. And there's. Uh, red Little OBs. OBs. Red OBs. Yep. Mm. I don't know why, but some of these vaults, these concrete vaults, if you can take this net and just run it the whole way down, no problem. Some of them, you've got to. You can't. You can't hit the walls, so there's an imperfection in them. Uh, it's just my gripe. Who cares? Anyway, here you go. These look like, I would venture to say, albino aratus. Aratus, yeah. Mm -hmm. Regular aratus, yeah, albino aratus. Regular aratus, cobalt, kenny eyes. These are albino aratus, aratus, cobalts, kinney eyes. I don't see anybody else in here, any other type. OBs. Oh yeah, red OB. Nice little, fish. Little bitty. These little red OBs. Now these guys are, like I said before in another video we did many years ago, probably January. But um, let me get this net. Oh, they, um, see there's another rock, the raccoons pull out. These are, just our regular pseudos, which comprise about 10, 12 types of fish. And then we have special pseudos. Those will be albino red max, exasperatus, red exasperatus. And we figured out over the years, it's a growth thing. So if we were to put red max in here, albino red max, exasperatus, minutus, and with this group of fish, they flat out would be stunted out. Because these guys eat more aggressively and they're just more aggressive. So we've learned over time. So we've got special pseudos, regular pseudos, and then things like Demason and Go Lab. Nothing goes with them. They're separate because we, break, we raise them by the thousands, because I would say 80% of our orders go out with either both Go Lab and the Mason Sire or one or the other, every time, every time. So that's, I mean, when we put them out, we put 5,000 in the tank. I'll show you the breeders, because we're gonna go through them. We go through the Go Labs and we go through the to Mason Air every year, we're trying to do several things. They're hard, they're, it's kind of impossible to get from the wild, but um, we're looking for the black dorsal on the Go Lab, and we're looking for the good striping on the Mason eyes. We don't want to breed with anybody that's not. Like there's some um, extra male Go Labs in this tank. You see the nice black dorsal, and 
That's what we look for when we breed. And on the way back from dumping these, I got another tank to move out. We're gonna stop by and see how Dave's doing. I've checked him three times since I put him in there and he's sitting in that bucket. See his tail sticking out. And we'll just check up on him, make sure he's good. I'm really thinking about going to the tank he accidentally jumped into when he gets really good, throwing a bunch of those gold laps in there and let him get revenge, but nope, I won't do it. But anyway, heading over here, walking the mile, walking the green mile, great movie. So, we got a tank cleaned up, ready to go, and Again, these are just, their tanks cut in half. So, these are my speckle back sips. They ain't worth a hoot, but I love them. These are uh, seven stripe fronts that we're raising up for breeder, future breeders, and there's a really nice pheno in there. See that guy? I think he needs to come out and become a breeder. But those are seven stripers, F1s. And we will hope, because I don't want to put them in there. That would be lovely for those electric blues to have a shot at these guys. But anyway, here we go. That's a little bit too much water. So, all our water comes out 74. So I don't have to do too, I always like to do this. One of the reasons I like to do this is there's any snails in the buckets. The snails will hang on to the sides and um, I won't get them in the tank. They don't do any damage, I just don't like them. They get to quite a few of them in the tank. So, now these guys, I think, I think there's probably 500 fish here, don't you, Glenn? Yeah. Between these two buckets? Yeah. So we may not be able to leave these here because the rule of thumb is, you know, when you're growing something, is one inch per gallon. So if there's a thousand fish in here, I want them to be two inch. I need 2,000 gallons, and this is not 2,000 gallons. So I may leave them here for a um, couple of months and then jump them up. And when we jump them up, it'll be nuts. When, when you do that, when you jump them up, they go crazy growth twice. So we're gonna go back and get the other ones. Heading down to the second tank of these guys. This is probably gonna be uh, pseudo deep breeders. This is probably gonna be entirely different a batch of fish and I'm hoping I remember where they oh there they are okay this looks like right off hand I would say pretty much reds albino. red white and blue <laughs> yeah yeah reds albino sockloffy and there is something in here blue these could be Kenny eye but no they look like little EBJs oh that's true. okay are there other? Were Kenny eyes in the last one? Or mm, just cobalt? No, they have stripes. All right. So, let's see what we got here. And like I said, this is only March. Beginning of March. So they pop these things in February. So, that's kind of amazing because they usually don't do this. But I know that Tony was saying that he was going to keep the food up right through winter so maybe they hit this first well, these are getting a combination of extreme flake and 1.5 yep and sometimes mush sometimes mush and when we say mush we t i take the i like to take the extreme flake throw it in with the 1.5 add just a little bit of water and just kind of make like a heavy bread like dough a, yeah like a heavy bread dough and then I'll come out here and break it up. I like doing, I like, that's the way we used to feed. Um, we used to mix our food in the pizza mixer and all the ingredients. And we're gonna go over that because Glenn was, I told Glenn something the other day and he said, whoa, I didn't know that. But it was how we invented the formula <clears throat> and how, you know, we fell into it. Kind of, not like we had it idea what we're doing but just kind of watching you know one of the main things you could do with your fish is watch them 
see what's going on. You can walk by a tank, see all the fish huddled in the corner. And you better take a look and see what's going on. Okay, these are reds. Um, EBJs. Albino sockloppy. And then and so that looks like a little cobalt, doesn't it? Or is it a no, sockloppy? Sockloppy. So we got albino, um, sockloppy, sockloppy, reds, and EBJs. Good Again, mix. Good mix. These are. <coughs> These are um, a hardier, in our minds, eating and growing group. Now, we will sell these, <clears throat> when they get bigger, I'll sell these as a mix. I'll sell these individually. If somebody says, hey, I want reds, and I'm catching a mix, and I'm catching reds too, then I'll get the reds out of here. So however it ends up when we're done is how we're selling it. But this will be our regular imbuna mix then we'll have like i said the special imbuna mix and uh then just the there's even some like the clown labs that we might keep separate also because they're pretty special and they're not good fast growers so anyway and i'll come back here after we're done doing this and make sure I guess I squashed him. That um, I got everybody out of here. But we'll take these over, and on the way back, we'll stop and check on Dave. I haven't really looked at him. I've let him do his thing. Been throwing food in there for him. Glenn, if you take this net, let's drop it off at Dave, and I'll save us a trip. But anyway, we're heading over. When we get over there, we'll show you pouring them out. See ya. It's kind of cool if you look in here. The first couple of days, these fish will just spin around the thing. They'll swim like in a column around the whole tank. But then, once you start feeding them, by Monday, I'll put money on it, they're um, just covering the whole tank. Right now, they're trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Yeah. What happened? They were in a square tank, now they're in a round tank and they got to figure out how to get it all together i say these fish are at least two and a half weeks old three weeks old of pop i mean not old but i mean got popped so that's a lot of fish in there i mean when you look at them that's really a lot maybe we can stick the camera in the water the other day we were out here filming those electric blues and I don't know who did it. <clears throat> but we knocked the, cam the camera to water. The camera's fine to go in the water, but that recording device on top is not fine. So we put it in rice and we did all that other stuff and it absolutely did not work. So then we got order from Amazon. We love you, Amazon. Get it here quick. And then we ordered the wrong part. <laughs> so then we had to order it again. Oh, let me show you something. This is so cute. Look at this little guy. Can you get him, Gwen? Look at that little guy. Look how cute he is. Let me see if I can catch him. Let me see. Come on, buddy. Oh, gosh. Speedy. <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez. Now, this is a cute, you know, look at this little guy. Let me have that bucket in case he jumps out of my hand. This is... The bufo I'm talking about. Now, how cute he looks. Precious. Precious little guy. Um, gets to be female. Gets to be big around as my, easy as my hand. They sit in dog food buckets all over, all over Dade County, Broward County, everywhere they are. Now, I would have stomped him, her, whatever, years gone by. But like I said, we're above ground. I don't like them. If I see eggs out here in the morning, I pull the eggs out. I don't let them hatch. But I don't like them. 
here on the farm just because they remind me of <clears throat> of how much work we used to have to do every every evening every morning had to walk the farm when we were in the pools it was a lot of work had to hire a guy just just to do that for about seven eight months if it was a rainstorm he didn't come out here oh lord it kill a pond so fast anyway let's take a look at dave i haven't really pulled dave out because they didn't want to stress him now somebody told me man why don't you bring that big old dove eye over in that little teeny bucket? Well, let me just say something. See how small that bucket is there? Dave could be in the whole tank. He's happy to be in that bucket. So the big one, he was only in that bucket for about five minutes. I had it filled up, which was 50 pounds of water. And I was being very, you know, I was careful with him. So anyway, let's see how Dave's doing. I've been feeding him and he's even got a little he's got a little pipe in there. I know why that pipe's in there. I put it in there so the thing would stay down and not come out. A little ragged on his tail. Yeah, there. he's still bunched up. And but the side is still marked up, but he, he looks a lot better, most definitely. 100% he's going to be okay. See the side's already done, but the tail is split. Quacked. But he'll be okay. Hey, so, um, hey, uh, rumor has it that if everything works out kind of cool, we're going to make a trip this weekend and go see something that's kind of neat. And, of course, we're going to video it. So if it works out, we're going to a really neat place. They're going to let us walk around and see some fish that I don't normally see or have or carry. They're a full line, <laughs> whatever they do. And if it works out, we're going to go one Saturday, and then we're going to film it, and that'll show up sometimes. See, Dave's just sitting there, but he's fine. So anyway, thanks for uh, coming back, and uh, be sure to subscribe and give us a comment. And uh, what's the other third thing? Comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. But anyway, see y'all later.